Hello friends, welcome to automation community. In the previous videos, we have discussed some examples. Today, in this video, I am going to show you another example. We will be using normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. We will also be using some logic gates like OR, AND. So, let's look at the example first. Example 6. If switch 1 is on, then LED 1 will be on. If switch 2 is on, then LED 2 will be on and LED 1 will be off. If switch 3 is on, then LED 3 will be on and LED 2 will be off. And if switch 4 is on, then LED 4 will be on and LED 3 will be off. So, for LED 1 to be on, switch 1 should be on. And for LED 1 to be off, switch 2 should be on. For LED 2 to be on, switch 2 should be on. And for LED 2 to be off, switch 3 should be on. For LED 3 to be on, switch 3 should be on. And for LED 3 to be on, switch 4 should be on. And for LED 4 to be on, switch 4 should be on. Please note, do not turn the switches off once turned on. That means, firstly, we will put switch 1 on. And without turning off switch 1, we will put switch 2 on. And without turning these switches off, we will turn switch 3. And without turning these switches off, we will turn switch 4 off. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert, where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. We will open Eco Structure Machine Expert. We will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive, and then click on Apply. Then we will go to Configuration tab where we will select a logic controller. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? Yes. And then I will go to serial line and select protocol as TMH2GDB and then click on apply. Now I will go to programming tab. So here we will be drawing ladder logic for the example. I can also click here for a full screen mode and zoom into it. So for LED 1 to be on, switch 1 should be on. And for LED 1 to be off, switch 2 should be on. I will add normally open contact and a normally closed contact. Then I will also insert a coil. Now I will assign addresses to these contacts as I 0.0, .0 then I 0 0.1. And I will also add symbol to these contacts as switch 1. Yes, and switch to yes. Now I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.0, .0 and symbol as LED 1. Yes, so for LED 1 to be on, switch 1 should be on, and then for LED 1 to be off, switch 2 should be on. Then for LED 2 to be on, switch 2 should be on. And for LED 2 to be off, switch 3 should be on. We will add a new rung here and insert normally open contact and a normally closed contact. And then I will also add a coil here. So I will assign addresses as I 0.1, which is switch 2. And then I 0.2. I will also add symbol as switch 3. Yes. Now I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.1. I will also add symbol as LED 2. Yes. So for LED 2 to be on, switch 2 should be on. And for LED 2 to be off, switch 3 should be on. And then for LED 3 to be on, switch 3 should be on. And for LED 3 to be off, switch 4 should be on. So, we will add a new rung here and insert one normally open contact and a normally closed contact. Now, I will insert a coil here. So, I will assign address as 
i 0 0.2 which is switch 3 and and i will also add address to the normally closed contact as i 0 0.3 now i will add symbol as switch 4 yes then i will assign address to the coil as q 0 0.2 and symbol as led 3 yes so for led 3 to be on switch 3 should be on and for led 3 to be off switch 4 should be on so for led 4 to be on switch 4 should be on now we will add another rung here and insert a normally open contact i will assign address as i 0 0.3 which is switch 4 and then i will insert a coil here i will assign address as q 0 0.3 and symbol as led 4 yes so here when you turn on switch 1 led 1 will be on and then without turning switch 1 off i will turn on switch 2 and on turning switch 2 on led 1 will be off but led 2 will be on and without turning off switch 2 i will turn switch 3 as on and on turning switch 3 as on led 2 will be off but led 3 will be on and then without turning off switch 3 i will turn on switch 4 and on turning switch 4 as on led 4 will be on but led 3 will be off so we will exit full screen mode and compile the program then we will go to commissioning and launch simulator after that i will start controller to do so click ok as you can see here we have used normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts so when i turn on switch one led one will be on and without turning off switch one i will turn on switch two and on turning switch 2 as on led 1 will be off but led 2 will be on and then without turning these switches off i will turn on switch 3 and on modifying switch 3 as on led 2 will be off but led 3 will be on and then without turning these switches off i will turn switch 4 on and on modifying switch 4 as on led 3 will be off but led 4 will be on it was all about example 6. Thank you for watching.